Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Door Kickers 2. Now in today's video we're actually going to be playing some of the new content that just released because they did release a new patch which added replays in which a lot of you guys have been asking for and some more maps which is the content that I've been waiting for because the replays I think really will be able to show us like how things went wrong and how we can improve and then new content new maps I'm always looking for it. You guys know that this is one of my favorite tactical games to play that isn't a shooter just because it's such an interesting take and there, there are some actual instances here that you can apply CQB ideas and tactics and strategies um, without this game being a first person shooter and I think that's a very refreshing take on some of the games that we do play. So let's jump straight into it. We're playing Big Boom in Little Condo. This is a bomb defusal map. We've got four troops that we can deploy. We have to disarm the bombs and then kill all the terrorists. So going against a 30 second time crunch here. Let's start analyzing the map before we worry about our troops. First things first, we have a sentry posted on this exterior balcony. Uh, this can be easily dealt with with our sniper support that we have. So not really worried about him. Um, when I'm looking at this map, I split it into two sectors. We have the left and right sections. We have the left, which is an open area, as well as a few closed doors that could hide potential secondary hostels. And then we have the right, which is a lot of closed rooms that we will not have line of sight on. And it's a lot of space where potential secondaries could be. So having to worry about this... What I notice is that there is one choke point right here to where I can control the entire right side of the map. So I'm probably going to be posting some kind of gun here to control movement on the right side while rapidly clearing through the left side of the map to get on top of this bomb and disarm it. Um, looking here at this 30 second timer, I don't think we have the time to clear like these rooms. I think we have to just post guns, dominate this hallway, rapidly clear this kitchen. Uh, it looks like there is a barricade here that might have a potential shooter that's watching this door. That's If I'm looking at that, that's exactly what that looks like. And then this counter is also an obstacle. So it's going to take us some time to fight our way through this disgusting crossfire, control the hallway, clear the kitchen, and then actually maneuver over this barricade. It's This is very time consuming. So I don't think we can waste a single second on this op. We're going to need to move really, really, really fast. So I'm looking at a light kit, most likely. Um, probably going to be running some kind of short barrel platform or CQB weapon like an MP5. Um, just no need for any support marksmen or grenadiers on this map, just because of how confined everything is. And we're just going to roll it fast with our assaulters. So uh, let's go through here and see what we have. We actually have Mark 18s, I think, kitted on everybody. And I think that's a perfect platform for what we're working with here. Uh, now, I'm thinking about how we enter. I don't know if I want to take the time to do any kind of wall breach. We've got 30 seconds. It's very little time. So I think we're most likely going to just hammer through with our breacher. We're going to pie this from the outside because i have no idea what is in this area here and i don't want to just we're, we're using a hammer so there's very little like compared to a slap charge or a wall charge there's like the element of supplies surprise not supplies excuse me the element of surprise is much lower here so we're just gonna hammer it pie it off slice it once i've determined it's fine we'll then move and the next obstacle is going to be this freaking this thing <laughs> the right corner comes up first I'm going to scoop my right shooter out first to try to dominate this while holding security on the left short corner. Once I've handled this and I'm satisfied with the threats in this area, then I think I can move my left side up quickly. And then at that point, whew, we'll have a gun here, a gun here. Maybe I rapidly check this with the third or fourth man and then we have someone sprint across. Because this door should be able to be controlled from here, I think. And then this gun should be able to maintain the corner. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, it's going to be dicey. There's a lot here that we don't see. I have no idea how many infantry, enemy infantry we have here. But that's the general idea. I'm thinking if we strip these guys down a little bit to make them a little bit faster. Um, flashbangs are good. I don't know if we need the frags. I don't think we need the frags. We're going to roll kind of light here. I hope this opens up our mobility a little bit. Oops, let's go with nothing. Yeah, so these guys are a little bit faster. These guys are going to be a little bit faster. And it looks like we are rocking. I always run the fast raid uh, plates just because they give level 4 protection. 
Um, and I try to make sure that these guys are always facing threats so the front or back plate catches it. I don't really plan on getting shot in the side, hopefully. Um, but yeah, let's just lighten these guys up a little bit. I don't think we need rags or anything. Flashes are, are going to be more than enough um, to clear the rest of this, I think. And let's start planning here. Okay, so off the break, I'm going to have Dallas step out and hammer this. Two man's going to come and help pull security on the door and watch. He needs to have line of sight on this corner when the door opens. Third in the stack needs to have eyes here when the door opens. Whoops. He needs to come a little bit further out like this. And then I think um, yellow's just going to stack. I don't necessarily want him sitting here. We have two guns already working the angle. I don't think we want to overcommit. I want him ready to move. And uh, we'll just see how this goes. I'm going to probably use orange after he hammers the door um, to flash if we need to, while teal and green have guns up watching cross. So let's roll this and see how the initial breach goes. And like I said, guys, every second is going to matter here. We're going to move fast on target. So let's go ahead and click play. Where's the position? Hammer goes out. Okay, we're going to pause. This guy's going to stand up. We're going to shoot him with our sniper. Now, the way we have the cross set up, our initial corners are clear here. I can even see the tight left and right corner because of the cross. I see this door is closed, which is good news. Not going to open the door at this point in time. We're going to flow into the room and treat it as a wall. I might have third or fourth guy, if possible, pull security on this. And if we get the chance, then we can open the door and clear it. But right now, this is our main threat. We don't have line of sight here. I'm going to have to pick someone to pie it. Um, I'm going to use my sniper to engage this target. We're going to pie this guy off. And uh, we'll probably do like a one second split here. So I'll have green pop out here. Okay, so we got a barricaded shooter blind firing. We've got a veteran insurgent standing up from the couch. We're going to flash this guy right here. And see, if we can get both, that would be great. But I don't, yeah, if we could do this, that would be great. I'm going to pull green back into cover until this flash goes off. So this is actually good. Because we went with limited penetration and we did not go dynamic, our initial fire on this door actually drew targets towards us around these corners, which is absolutely amazing because it means we have initiative on that gunfight, right? We don't have to push to the corner and then deal with reactive fire from them. We are the ones who are prepared and can actually engage these targets um, from the safety of outside the room. And this is one of the reasons why I just, I really do prefer limited penetration as, as opposed to going dynamic um, in video games, just because there's so many advantages and the um, advantages that you would get from dynamic breaching in real life, like the surprise, the speed, um, the chaos, and, and the fear of death, like that doesn't translate in video games. I think LP is definitely the way to go when we're playing games here, and, and we can see exactly why. We are completely in cover, we control the angles, we have initiative on these fights, um, and we can control what's going on. There's no need to really go dynamic here. So this flash is going to go off. I'm going to step my guy out. Green's going to come out, hopefully eliminate this threat. We're going to flow into the room. That goes out. You're gonna engage these threats, and we're gonna flow. We're, we're, we've got 20 seconds, so we've got we gotta move fast here. I'm gonna move teal up quickly. Take this. Yellow is gonna be behind him, always watching this corner, and orange is gonna move to this corner here. And we're gonna do this real fast here. Okay, we have some priority on this. 18 seconds to go. Uh, I'm gonna roll green and fast. He's gonna watch that door. Teal is going to maintain security here. I, I feel like I need to step Teal out a little bit more. This is a little dangerous. Um, as he's doing this, I need Orange then to come up at the same time. Yellow. This entire room is clear. I have vision on this entire room. So I no longer need guns pointed up here anymore. It's mainly this dead space that's worrying me a lot, as well as this tiny slice. I can use yellow to either help clear this side or hold the right. I, I think we'll just move them up and deal with it in the next, you know, split second here. All right. Dominance over this hallway. Good. This is really good. He's just going to hold that, which means yellow just needs to look left here. Uh, I'm going to... I need orange to just really step out and just dominate this immediately. Uh-huh. Keep going. Okay. We got a shooter back there. Dallas is injured, 
17 seconds to get to the bomb. We're just... We, I think we have to prioritize this right now. And hopefully yellow can sneak by while orange is drawing the fire. That's what I'm hoping. I really don't hope we lose anyone here, but let's see. All right, so orange took the shot. It had to happen in order for yellow to sneak by. I think it takes 10 seconds to defuse the bomb. We're going to... This, this closed door is not a priority right now. We have a shooter in the open here who possibly has an angle on teal. I'm going to pull teal back slightly, so hopefully this wall is blocking the line of sight. And green's going to come up to try to handle this angle at this point. So you just need to keep, you just need to keep running. Okay. Still have control over the right. I hope it, if, if, if I get some kind of op four popping out this door, it's, it's, it's game over. Um, can I actually flash this guy? Or we're going to actually flash this guy from around the corner. Uh-huh. And then you're going to pie this. We've got our guy defusing. Okay, cool. We're controlling the hallways. This is freaking me out a lot. It's actually freaking me out like a substantial amount. So what we can do here to mitigate this threat is actually just move our guys like so. And that way, if this guy comes out, he has to come around this corner and Teal will have him. So we maintain security with this, but we neutralize the threat of this bathroom. So we're going to roll. We're going to hold what we got. Bomb defused. Okay, cool. So, we had four seconds. We had literally four seconds to spare there. So, we, like, I don't know if there's a way we could have saved Orange. Throwing the flash would have costed us. Like, he's got to pull the flash, throw the flash. Flash has to roll to the guy and then detonate. I don't know if we had time to actually get that flash off um, in order to have Yellow cross here. I think Orange just needed to try to drop him. And if not, just take the round so that Yellow could get by. But now we can finish and focus on clearing the rest of this. So, the way I'm going to do this, now that we have time to work, is these guys are going to hold what they got. I'm going to move yellow over here. That's a really messy line. Move yellow over here. And yellow's going to maintain security on this hallway. And then once he's there, I'll have blue and green rotate. All right, so now these guys can drop at these angles. And we can start working this as a two-man instead of just solo. Left clear, right clear. There's an, uh, an obstacle here. I'm not worried about someone being in that area. So we're just going to flip on the door to the left here. We're going to have him step out and then have you step out. I totally forgot about this. Holy shit. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna focus on this like that right now. Just because I totally forgot about this. So that could have been bad. I'm going to stand Teal away. Oh, this door is like really jank. Um... I mean, I guess we kick it. We didn't bring slap charges because we went for speed. That might... I hope there's not a... <laughs> this is so bad. Let's see. All right, that's clear. Please check that corner. All right. Bathroom clear. Left side, aside from this, is now clear. We're going to roll back here. Stack like this. Go ahead. We're going to worry about this bathroom now. Um, can you open it from the safety? You're just going to swing it. And yellow's going to have the angle. Okay, bathroom clear. Uh, okay, let's worry about this hallway. We've got closed doors left and right. This is a single room. I think we handle this room, then this room, and then we worry about this this bigger room because this one has a closet, living space, and a bathroom. So, how do we do this? Hmm... I definitely, <laughs> my brain initially told me, hey, put a guy here and then swing the door. But that means his back is now to this hallway and I don't have control over this anymore because I can't shoot through this guy and he's not looking the right way. So I think we have to swing the door from from this side of the room, not this side, which means we're going to come up here. I'll scoot. I wonder if we can fit both of them in the hallway. We can. Okay. Yellow is then going to. This is a little jank. We, we got to do this fast. We just got to do this fast. Just swing it. And go in. Okay, clear. Coming out. Um, Teal's going to maintain security on this door. Actually, no. I'm going to push Teal past. And Green's going to maintain security on the door. Like so. 
That's a window. Oh, that is so bad. That is so bad. Come back. So yellow took the round. I'm gonna put yellow. I'm gonna pull yellow back. Oh, this hallway. This goddamn hallway. Um. This is so bad. This this is such a bad hallway. But I didn't think that that door would have been open, but it is. So now we just got to work this really quickly here. Green's going to maintain security there. I'm pulling blue in as a two-man just because he is injured. Got dead space right. Dead space left. How do we do this? Okay. I think the proper call here is now to take this room without having to worry about this shit right now. So I think I'm going to pull blue up because he's the most injured and I, I'm going to need my guys to breach my, my higher health guys to breach green is full health. He's going in first. Uh, I think we flash this room. Oh, there's a second bomb. Oh, 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 God. <laughs> oh god <laughs> well i guess that's what happens when you do missions blind um god damn it holy f <laughs> all right well let's uh let's see how we did um cinematic is there a way to hide the hud there is okay okay all right well let's let's go Which is good. This is really clean here. Flow into the room is good. Dominate the right. Take a shot. Green just couldn't get his gun up fast enough. This is the risky play here. But we handle it. Flow in to avoid this threat. Bomb gets defused with four seconds on the clock. This was a mistake because I completely just tunnel vision and forget about this. I should have had, uh, yeah, I should have had him hold here. Clear this properly. Coming out. That looks good. We take this hallway and this is, this is where things get dicey here. That's fine. This, this right here. I don't know what happened. This is like a window, but not a window. It's a door. Like that's, that tripped me up. Hold up. Let's go back a little bit, right? Like if we, if we go back. Uh, can we, uh, what do we, we want, oh god, oh no, that's not what I wanted, can I click and drag here? I don't think I can, can I, uh, okay, it looks like there's no, like, fast, there's, oh, here, I just clicked, uh, there's a skip forward, but not a, not a skip backwards, interesting, okay, or maybe there is, and I'm just bad at this, okay, so, like, right here, if we look, this is a closed, oh, it's a glass, this is a new kind of door, I don't think these kind of doors existed before this patch. I haven't seen this before. So this is entirely a new style of door. That, dude, the detail in this game, you can see it for this glass bathroom too, or this glass shower. That is awesome, that is tricky. And that is one of the things that I talk about a lot in Ground Branch Sandstorm. All these games, if you just have different styles of doors, it changes the situation dramatically. Right? The fact that this is a glass door and not an actual closed wooden door. God damn, this was a trap. This tricked me up so bad. That is awesome. That that small feature is so cool. Okay, so now I understand what happened there. Uh, maybe they should make this like blue dotted or something to, to signify it's, it's actually um, see-through. But that's actually really, really cool. That's really, really cool. Um... Yeah, let's uh let's continue here at like half speed because this gets messy right here right so we bump up this right here what happens yeah we get ambushed on the right i pull the guy out of the line of fire and blue can't even engage because purple is 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 getting hurt what i think i should have done here is instead of pulling pink all the way back and retreating into this room i should have just pulled him slight back here like right here instead of um, pulling him all the way back just so that we could maintain a gun on the right side parallel of the of the hallway right because if, I, as soon as i pull him down i only have one gun to the front now whereas if i keep him here if we if we have the stack like this i still have a gun on his shoulder and we've got two guns to the front 
that is a small mistake that we definitely could have improved on i got really scared here and bailed out of this corner way too hard still maintaining security on the door with blue which is great um but yeah did there's no reason to pull our second gun off here we go through here this is clear properly i think this was the right call of not having to deal with any of this and we set the prep here and then the bomb goes off unfortunately which is really tricky because there's no there's no any there's there's no indication whatsoever that there's a bomb here um so very sneaky i love how they're throwing curveballs you think you know what's going on and then you play it and you're like holy crap there is so much more depth than i had initially anticipated uh, I, I want to watch this back one more time in slow-mo just to see how everything shake, uh, shaked out. Um, but yeah, this is like awesome. Like all the every single patch that they add is just great stuff. This comes out. It's great. We notice the threat. We bail out. This I really like this move. This move right here where we where we identified okay threat that we can't deal with rapidly and bailed out. Like if you go dynamic in this situation, you pop that door and you flow in. <laughs> the stack's moving in, right? The momentum of that stack just throws you into this freaking nightmare of a situation where you have a barricaded shooter and then corners on either side with another tertiary threat of this bathroom and some, some Terry popping out of this door. So I think fighting from outside the room here was a really good play. Last year, as you can see, we have security on either corner from outside. We're fully in cover from this shooter, yet we can handle any threat that decides to actually stick its head out from around these corners. So I think a brilliant demonstration of why limited penetration in certain cases is, is so much better than dynamic. Because I think a lot of people, when I watch them play squad or ground branch or whatever, everyone's used to dynamic, go, 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 flash, go in, go in. And it's just like in video games specifically, it just doesn't roll well. So flash goes off, we pie out again. We, got, we flow. This was a little messy. I pied out, but also flew the stack in. When I, when, when I think here is when you go dynamic, and this is the same for ground branch, I highly advise that the only time you go dynamic in, in video games is if you can 100% confirm you flashed or like you have complete surprise over a target. That's the only time you ever go dynamic. So we knew we were flashed here, or we flashed these guys, which is why I, I felt confident flowing the stack in. But yeah, I, I kind of did two weird things here. I pulled this guy out to pie and also flew in. I should have just had this guy flow, flow in as well. Shooters come in, dominate. This guy, I don't know, green just took forever and this guy got good shots off. So good on him. Pulled the purple back a touch because I knew his angle was open to the back. We get on the bomb. It does take 10 seconds to get on this. So we had three seconds to spare. We did that as cleanly and as fastly, fast as we could. Flash and kill this dude. Move to uh, get out of the angle of this potential threat. We're going to speed it up here. I wonder if... Um, one of the things I'm thinking is if we could have saved time by pushing as we were still defusing but i don't think so if if i hadn't lost green on the corner i think i would have felt more comfortable doing that but because we're down one there we i didn't feel like we had enough guns to safely clear clear some of this and i know i probably could have one man cleared this but i i generally hate one man clearing um in in in, in not ground branch excuse me in door kickers too kick this and swing it come out clear and uh yeah i thought we had all the time in the world for this <laughs> It's so crazy looking back at how things panned out. I should have noticed this too. Like I can see right here. I can see that I'm getting line of sight in here, but I wasn't paying attention. This swing on the door is clean because he's in cover, partial cover, while pink has complete eyes down the lane. We're just taking our sweet time here. God, I it's going to be something that traumatizes me now. Like every round I play, I'm always going to think there's a hidden bomb and there's always going to be a time consideration, which is great because before bombs, um, you kind of always felt like, okay, I could just take my sweet time doing things. But now that there can be hidden bombs around in, in like line out of line of sight, like that's going to change how I play the game. And that's a big change, I got to say. And then bomb goes off here. So yeah, I, I, I got to say, every time they patch and they add in these things, these tiny, tiny, tiny changes, the bomb, the freaking glass doors, whatever it is, it, it dramatically changes gameplay. So very happy with this patch. Uh, if you want to pick up Door Kickers too, check out KarmaCut.com. Any purchase there on games or merch supports. 
if, and if you want to join our discord community discord.gg slash karma cut a lot of cool stuff going on we're playing arma 3 liberation constantly over there ground branch lobbies uh, you can find some people even to play door kickers to co-op with but i hope you guys enjoyed like comment and subscribe for more content guys and until next time good hunting out there